Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and in this session I am going to talk about one of the important power ups date time validation. Most of the time we have a requirement wherein we need to check that end time should be greater than start time. Then how can we validate that with power ups? Let's see. Before we get started, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram, do follow me over there. The Instagram ID is power platform guy. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you what end outcome we wanted to achieve here. Here I have created one power apps form. Here I have two different column, check in time and check out time. Let me just add check in time as 1 am and check out time as 2 am then it will not fire me any validation but let's say if my checkout time is less than my check-in time then it will throw me a validation that end time should be greater than start date time then you need to provide number of person and when you try to save it it will restrict you because you haven't validated this field properly now let me just correct that and let me save then it will allow me to save the entry in my data set now how we can achieve this thing let's see let me just open up my power apps in a customized form mode now in order to implement the validation we need to follow some step by step procedure first of all this is my check-in time data card and this is my checkout time data card let's unlock the card first first of all select your check-in time data card in check-in time data card, you have this date picker that is date value 1, your hour value 1 and minute value 1. You need to apply change event on all of these three controls. Same way on checkout time, you need to apply some code on all of these three controls. And don't worry, I am going to provide the code link in the description box or the article link in the description box so do check it out so basically let me first explain you what is the logic behind that the code is very simple the first logic is checking for blank if the value is blank then date is valid if check in and check out time dates difference in minute is greater than zero then even date is valid but if it is less than zero then it is invalid that's all so I applied this code on on change event of this date picker same way I need to select this drop down and select on change and apply the same code I pasted the same exact code over here same thing you need to do for minute as well go here on change event paste the code then for checkout time select the date picker go to the on change event paste the same code same way go here on change event paste the same code and for last one as well because our on change should be triggered on every control right now we need to show error message for that select checkout time and select error message control go to the text property and set if my end date validation if is end date valid is false then end date time should greater than start date time else nothing all right so if let's say if i enter checkout time which is less than check in time then it will show me this type of error message otherwise it is not showing me any error message now we need to select the error message again and we need to provide the visible condition and on visible simply let's just provide not is and date valid now we need to do one more thing select your sharepoint integration and over here you need to go to the on save and on save we need to provide if is and date valid is true then only we should have submit form otherwise it should not allow me to submit the form 
so we just added a condition if is a end date valid then submit form that's all and for the first time when user click on new item then we need to initialize this variable which is is end date valid as true for that select sharepoint integration and go to the on new event and after new form initialization, let's just provide this code and that's how we are good to go. All right. So our coding steps has been completed successfully. So let me recap everything. First of all, what you have done, you have added the same code onto all six controls. Then you just set the text property for your validation message and you just set the visible property. Then you selected SharePoint integration and on new property you just initialized is end date valid as true and on save you just added one condition that if is end date valid then you are submitting the form that's all right now one more important thing if you haven't sharepoint integration in your power apps and if you are using standalone canvas app then definitely you need to add this same code into save button of your canvas app and same way for on new whatever the code whatever the initialization that you have done here you need to do on new button of your canvas app that's the one change now let me do one more thing let me just add one label just for the testing purpose that if my variable is true or false now for testing purpose let me just add one label here and let me just print out the variable so what's the variable the variable name is is end date valid let me save and publish let me click on new again by default for the first time is end date valid is true obviously because both the field are blank now let me just add one test entry let me add check in time 22 september 4 am and over here 22 september and you can see at this moment 00, zero is there because checkout time is less than check-in time so the flag is converted to false and it is showing me this message but let me just correct this value to 6 so my flag turned back to true and we are good to go but let's say if it is 3 then even the flag is false and it is not allowing me now after that if I try to save it will not allow me to save the form but let's say if I correct this value for 6 mm and let's click on save then definitely it will store this entry over here and we are good to go. So this is how we can easily implement date time validation into power apps form. Hope this tip is helpful to you. If you have any question feel free to add your question in the comment section. With this this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.